Come on, girls. We don't have dogs, we don't have cats, we don't have gerbils or tarantulas or any other kind of animal. We only have the goats and our goats are uh, French Alpine dairy goats. Uh, they're bred for high milk production and each one has its own little personality. I think that's one of the things I enjoy about the pillows because when they come out, they each kind of have their own little personality to them. I uh, develop my own pattern. I'll lay the patterns on randomly, pin it down in a few strategic places, cut it out. Then I will mark the wrong side of the fabric for the placement of the eyes and the ears. And I do use a fabric glue, a permanent fabric adhesive, on the backs of the eyes because I don't want anything coming loose. Now we're ready to start sewing. The large ears, the long ears, are typically a Nubian style, and those will hang down. And the Swiss ears point forward, and then the very small La Mancha type ears, they're very short ears. And I turn it, <laughs> turn it right side out, nose first. So it's just like when a, a baby goat's being born, the nose comes out first and then I stuff the body. My end product is, is when I take the pillow and okay. squeeze it to test it for its cuddle mm. factor. And most of the time, whenever anybody wants to buy one, I have to squeeze it before it goes away. <laughs> Just to make sure. It's pretty colorful.